everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i am back with another review and this time we're going to be reviewing the new rimmel lasting finish 24 25 hour breathable foundation along with the new lasting finish 25 hour breathable concealer um, i'm going to be reviewing both of them in one video i'm pretty sure these came out a month ago but as I say on my usual videos, I wait for these to become in stock at Hartman's since they are discounted at Hartman's and I get an additional 20% off with Bed Bath & Beyond coupons. So just filling you in on that. So I am going to go ahead and start the reviewing. So if you want to see my review on this foundation and concealer, then please keep watching. We're going to prime with our usual moisturizer. My face is already cleansed. Oh. So this says it's supposed to last for 25 hours. Um, I definitely will not be able to tell you if that is true because I will not be sleeping in my makeup. Um, it says long wear foundation, high definition finish, medium coverage. So it says medium coverage. Shake before use, lightweight skin, perfecting foundation with medium coverage, breathable skin technology that moisturizes up for up to 25 hours. So let's do as it says and shake it off. Ooh, it has one of those applicators like the Tarte Shape Tape. So let's put it on. I'm going to start blending out this one side first before I apply it everywhere else. It kind of smells like um perfume a little. Not like perfume perfume, but it does have like a perfume smell. Wow. So it's definitely medium coverage. But the finish of it, the finish of it just looks so natural. It looks like my skin. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing any foundation. It applies very creamy. It's definitely lightweight for sure. The color matches. Um, It's a little different than my chest because I've been trying to remove the spray tan I have on. And yeah, it's definitely like a perfumey smell. It's not bad, but, but if you don't like scents, you may not like this. So this foundation, it's not full coverage, but it, it has really good coverage. Um, I say it's a little bit more than medium and less than full. And it's so lightweight. It really is lightweight. It just looks like my natural skin, but just evened out my complexion. So these are the difference. So this is the difference and like it doesn't even look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. It kind of just like evened out my complexion. Like kind of just hid some of the redness and just made it look so natural and looks like skin. It's so comfortable on the skin also. So I definitely agree that it is 100% breathable for sure. Now let's start doing the other side. I like the wand too a lot. It's like you're really not wasting any foundation with wands like that. Pump sometimes, like if you put it down on a tray. I don't know if I could deal with the smell. I mean, I don't smell it now. I smell it as I'm blending it in. So, I mean, I don't know. Medium coverage. Medium coverage, very breathable. It dries really fast, like there's no transfer. Um, it, it feels like I kind of already set it with powder, even though I did not. And it was so quick to apply. The wand makes it so easy. You take your beauty blender or a brush, blend it in. Um, 
it looks so good on the skin. I think this is a really great foundation for like a drugstore, like going to work everyday type of foundation. It looks so good on the skin. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing any makeup um, because like I said, it's not full coverage. So you still see a little imperfections, but it's natural. It looks like, but it's natural. It looks like my whole face is like, it just evened out my complexion. It just looks really good on the skin. I'm really impressed. But let's go ahead with the concealer and we'll see how everything blends together with powders, blushes, and all that. So I'm going to be taking the 25-hour breathable concealer. Um, it says lightweight medium coverage concealer. Um, helps to conceal imperfections. Cushion application applicator allows for perfect blendability and touch-ups on the go. So it looks like this. You open it, it's slight. Oh. Can you see that? Mine looks like it was used. So I'm not really comfortable with putting that on my skin because it was used. So I don't know if someone put it on like their hand. Did I use it? No, I definitely did not. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze some out and put it on my hand. I'm not gonna use the applicator. Um, there's stuff on the applicator, I'm not putting that on my face um so I'm gonna take a brush with the concealer and start concealing Ooh. Ooh, that makes it look I mean it's not even blended in and I can oh they're both burning Ooh, let's blend quickly. They're burning underneath my eyes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Blend, 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 blend. Oh. I'm sorry, I had to do that so fast. Um, it was burning underneath my eyes. So right off the bat, this is getting returned for sure. Um, and then even if it wasn't burning, look underneath my eyes. Look how cakey it looks. I'm blending it in. I'm blending it in and it's still just so cakey. It's not really going on flawlessly. Alright, so the concealer burnt my eyes as I put it on. Um, I don't know why. That does happen with certain foundations. I mean, concealers. Um, it does happen when I use the Maybelline, the, um, I think it's the, the cushion one. That happens sometimes. Um, so I'm definitely going to be returning this just because it burns. But also, I don't like how it applies. It looks a little cakey under here. Um... It's really, it's thick. It is, it says lightweight, but, um, I mean, it feels lightweight when you apply it, but when you start to blend it out and you see, like, the aftermark, it's applying like it's, like it's cakey, like it's thick, but, um, I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face, and I will come back with my final thoughts. Hey, everyone. I went ahead and finished the rest of my face, so let's go into my final thoughts. So my final thought about the foundation is I love it. It's set so nicely. It's so comfortable. Definitely breathable like it claims. Um, the coverage is very nice. I know it's not full coverage, but it just evens out my complexion with still covering my redness. And it just, I feel like, I honestly feel like this is going to be a great foundation for a work day. Something that's a f affordable for work every day. You know, people don't want to use their expensive foundation for work. This was only $8.99. I absolutely love it. Um, breathable. Coverage is great. Um, it just looks so healthy on the skin. It makes my skin doesn't makes my skin look like a real skin. Um, I just I really really do like this a lot. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this and maybe even getting a darker shade for when I'm spray tanned. Now on to the concealer. This bad boy will be getting returned. I hate it. I don't like it. My under eyes are the only thing that does not look good right now. 
after I set it, it just looks cakey. I mean, it claimed, says it's lightweight. I mean, when I poured it onto my hand, it definitely felt light. It was, if the consistency was definitely thinner, lighter, but after you're blending it out, it's blending like it's, a, like it's thick. Like, it just looks cakey. I, I can't explain it. It just doesn't look good. There's creasing underneath my eyes. Um... It didn't even give me any, it didn't even give me any coverage. The, con the foundation gave me more coverage than the concealer. And concealer is meant, and concealer is meant to conceal the darkness. And it didn't even do that. The foundation did a better job for that. So this bad boy will be getting returned. But I really like this a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. This was $8.99 at Harman's. Plus I got 20% off because they do take Bed Bath & Beyond coupons. So this was a great steal. I'm keeping this. Gonna be wearing this for work. This is like gonna be my everyday. I love this so much. And this I don't. So those are my final thoughts on these two products. Alright, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, and if you like this video and you like reviews, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.